So five years ago, I started on faculty here at Johns Hopkins. My background is in oncology, actually, in pediatrics, which is a strange place to start and end up in prostate cancer. But one of the main reasons I switched into imaging is because I saw that there was really a need for, for better imaging methods. And one area for improvement is in prostate cancer imaging. PSMA is prostate-specific membrane antigen. In prostate cancer, there's really high levels of PSMA that basically covers the cells. So if you have a small little lymph node, which you would normally pass by with the CT scan, for PSMA PET, you would be able to pick that up. It would light up that small focus and say, this is actually tumor here, when you normally would not have thought that it was. With the help of Movember, Prostate Cancer Foundation Creativity Award was really was important to test this hypothesis that you can image patients earlier and to really help guide biopsies. In effect, improve how we diagnose men with prostate cancer. It's a radiopharmaceutical which is injected. Once that radiopharmaceutical has had a time to distribute, we have very sensitive cameras which will be able to pinpoint exactly where in your body that tumor is located try to localize where that prostate cancer is, find the small little node, and then we can find out is it good or bad, basically. Time is really ripe to really reap the benefits of functional and molecular imaging. We'll be able to use all of the science and innovation and improve the outcomes or greatly minimize the impact of prostate cancer in the lives of, of patients.